Hey guys, welcome to IT Army. In the last video, I showed you how to install Windows 10 to your laptops or desktops. In this particular video, I'm going to show you two different ways in which you can activate Windows. So, to activate Windows, you must have a 25 characters product key. And that product key you enter during the installation or after the installation you have done, you can enter the product key. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to activate Windows by entering that product key. So, let's get started. Okay, so now you can see I'm on my desktop and I have not activated the machine. This is the same machine that where I installed Windows in the last video. And for some reason, it's not showing the watermark at the bottom right corner of the desktop. But if I go to start and I click on settings, it's going to show me a message at the bottom of the window of this uh, settings. It says Windows isn't activated and activate it now. And just clicking on that, it takes you to the activation screen or I can go to updates and security activation and then from here also I can do the activation so it says Windows is not activated now uh, why it is not activated it says that you don't have a valid digital license what this means is that if you already had Windows 10 and that was activated uh, Windows is gonna have this license it's gonna have gonna store the hardware ID for this so as soon as you reinstall Windows it automatically activates your machine. In case if you're installing Windows 10 for the first time, you must enter the product key and then it will get activated. Now how to get the product key, you'll be finding if you have bought it online, you'll be getting in your email or if you have bought it from the retail stores, you'll be finding on the CD case. Now uh, I have already the product key, I have uh, bought it online now i'll be putting the product key and activating windows so through gui i'll be uh, showing you this stuff so uh, this is the link over here you can go if you have not bought you can go to store and you can buy windows 10 online so i'll click on change product key and over here i can enter the product key now there is a one way to check whether you have already entered the product key or not because when you install windows it comes with a default product key so these are the two product keys for windows 10 home and pro you can see and through command line we can find out what is the product current product key so it will not show you complete product key 25 letter but it will show you just five characters so i can go to command prompt and here I need to type slmgr that is for software licensing manager slash dlv so display licensing information in verbose mode and here it's showing you the partial product key uh, over here you can say 8hvx7 and this is the same as this one so now I will be entering the product key and then I'll be activating it so coming back I'll be putting the product key over here I'm gonna blur it so you cannot see my product key and I have entered the product key now 25 characters it may be in uppercase or lowercase it doesn't make any difference I'll go ahead and click next and now it's asking you to activate it so I can click on activate it's gonna take some time and yeah I can see that it's giving you a message that Windows is activated and activated with the digital license so after you have activated it just do one more thing just add a Microsoft account so in case in future if you are changing your hardware motherboard any other stuff uh, you can contact Microsoft support with the same email address and your uh, Windows will get activated again so uh, this was the one way other way through the command line how to activate uh, how to enter the product key and how to activate Windows so for that you need to open the command prompt start type cmd right click the command prompt it must be run as administrator so run as administrator yes and over here you need to use the same commands uh, slmgr slash ipk for install product key and type your product key over here and press enter key once you have entered that product key then you need to do slmgrato and press enter key for activating windows so these are the two different ways in which you can install the product key and activate it so hope you found this video useful if you liked it hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video